Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mohsin. Let me teach you how to take a blood culture. So this is one of the most common station in OSCE exams. First of all, I will explain how this case will come. So the problem would be that the patient had some surgery two to three days before. Now he's having a fever. Consultant has asked to take the blood sample to uh, do the blood culture. So doctors, you need to take the short history of entering the station that you need to ask you had some surgery, how you're feeling. You'll say, yes, doctor, I am was feeling better, but from the last night I am having fever. Then you need to ask two to three questions regarding fever. Then you need to ask about any uh, bleeding, any pulse, any discharge, or any pain from the wound site as well because he had a surgery. After the doctor, you need to explain the patient that why you're here. You need to tell him that I'm here because I need to take the blood sample to uh, do the blood culture to check the specific pulp that is causing the symptoms. After that, doctor, you need to uh, take few general high history questions from the patient that is he having any medical condition, any blood disorders, is he taking any medications, any blood thinners, and is he allergic to any medicine. After that, doctors, you need to explain the patient that what you are going to do. First of all, you will explain the patient that I am going to use a thin needle to insert into one of your vein of forearm uh, and you need to tell him that he might feel sharp scratch but we will be as quick as, as gentle as possible. Next will be position, you will tell him to straighten up his arm and then we will ask him to expose his forearm if he is uh, wearing full sleeve to roll up his sleeves. Okay, doctors, after that you need to ask him is he having any arm soreness, any arm preference. After that you will move towards the table to collect blood treatment. So what are the things we need for blood culture? First of all we need this torpicum. Then we need alcohol swab. Then we need culture bottles. These are so important. Alright. Then we need the needle. Alright. Then we need cotton and the plaster as well. The vacuum tender. Okay doctors. In this case, we need to extra alcohol wipes right, to clean the tops of these blood culture bottles as well. So after plugging your equipment, you will prepare your equipment. So how to prepare your equipment? You will simply tear the outer packing of alcohol square, place it here, don't take it out. Then you will take the needle and you will attach it to the acutainer in preparation. <clears throat> Remember, you are not wearing gloves up till now. Okay, after that, doctor. <clears throat> you need to do next now you are going to start your procedure and you need to tell verbalize that as you wear gloves if they are gloves then you need to wear gloves as well but most of the time there is no need to wear, wear gloves it will be just written as your glove after that you will start your first field for the vein then you are going to take the sample then you will tie the tourniquet After tying the tourniquet, you will clean the area, clean it with the single stroke like this, okay, and now take the sample, take this cap out, look like this, let the patient know that sharp scratch is coming, insert the needle, and as soon as you saw the blood, doctors lose on the tourniquet, okay. Then take this culture bottle. So, doctors, first you are going to use this blue one, it is aerobic. First, you need to use this. Take the sample, insert it, take the sample, and there is a marking here. You need to fill up till here and then rotate it 180 degrees. After that, use the brown one. This is anaerobic. You will use it after the blue. So, brown after blue. Then insert it, take the sample, rotate it again 180 degrees. Then place the cotton here and let the patient know that you are going to take the needle out. Ask the patient to press here for one, one minute and then you will label it with the patient details and send it to the lab. You will place it in the sample kidney tray. After that you will place the plaster from the side you have taken the sample. So place it here. At the end, thanks the patient and let him know that I have sent the samples to check the bug that is causing the symptoms and let him know that you are going to give him some paracetamol, some antibiotics according to local guidelines and also 
let him know that if he feel any redness and swelling or any pain from the side, you have to take a sample and if his symptoms have get worse or if there is any kind of pain, bleeding, discharge from the wound side, let him know. Thank you so much. That is all from the blood culture. Thank you.